what's going on you crazy bastards you're back here with Rob Kimball on the Sons of Wrestling for a TNA Impact Wrestling review from Pennsylvania and hell yeah it was a good goddamn show what did you guys think comment below good show or no let's do that and then on top of the review video thumbs up or thumbs down I prefer the thumbs up guys so Go ahead and hit that. We move on. Start the show. Kurt Angle comes out to announce that all the titles are on the line tonight. And he needs to call out one, one individual here tonight. And uh, that's Willow. Calls out Willow. And he says, I understand why you went to the dark side after what Dixie did to you. And... During this uh, battle royal that I have set up, I need... One, Jeff Hardy, the most competitive, charismatic wrestler on the roster. I need that guy. Will you do it? Willow extends one hand, shakes Kurt Angle's hand. So, looks like we're going to get Jeff Hardy, but during the show we have this little bit of uh, maybe not, maybe he will. So, we find out later on in the night. Will Willow show up there in the Battle Royal, or will it be Jeff Hardy? We move on to the Wolves versus Magnus and Bram in a holy shit kick-ass match. Start off the, the match really with Bram being the pinata to the Wolves when they kick the shit out of them. And the, it, the really good goddamn match, the whole thing. And uh, when we get Bram ends up getting a little offense in here. It goes to do the gut wrench on to Davey Richards, but he slips out. Flips him over, and then Eddie Edwards is the um, the the legal guy in. Does a flip over, pulls him up. One, two, three, victory. Magnus really didn't do a whole hell of a lot here. Bram shines, dude. Oh, Bram has that character that pops off the screen. And after the match, he's infuriated. Goes under the ring, grabs one of those turnbuckle, turn post, fucking tighteners, and he just wants to beat the shit out of somebody, but. The voice of reason here of Magnus holds them back, and uh, they leave. And uh, the Wolves are victorious, keeping their belts. And we move on to Bobby Roode backstage, and he is pissed. He wants MVP. And then we come back from commercial break, and he's out there in the middle of the ring, and he calls MVP down there, and he says, you got to count to ten and get your ass out here, because that's what he wants. He wants to beat the shit out of him. So... You know, we start the little countdown, MVP's music hits, he comes rolling out on a fuck in a wheelchair. He's in a wheelchair now. He's been on crutches. His injury should be a little bit better now, but now it seems to be worse. He says his uh, knee is so fucked up, obviously he can't go, that's why he's in a wheelchair. Well, Bobby Roode says, you know what, I don't even give a shit. I'm coming up there to kick your ass now. He ends up going up there. Kenny King comes out, but Bobby Roode's ready, clotheslines him. Grabs MVP, rolls him toward the ring, dumps his ass out, but Kenny King nails him with a chair. And, uh, well, this leads to a little bit of exchange between the three, and then EY makes it even, comes on out. And amongst this whole deal, we forget about the TNA World Heavyweight Champion, Bobby Lashley. And, uh, well, he ends up spearing EY, and money, power, respect, they just bounce. So, we end up back with Sonata and James Storm and they're backstage James Storm's getting in the head of Sonata he's the X Division champion but you know this is like the control of the great Muda and uh, well what if you basically he's saying what if you weren't champ would Muda even give a shit and James Storm's getting under his into his head and James Storm plants the seed I think you're great so, James Storm seems to have a little bit of control on Sonata here. So, what's going to happen with that belt? And, uh, well, we end up having that match with Austin Aries. And it's a holy shit awesome match. Sonata, Austin Aries, great, great stuff. And uh, we get lots of TNA chance during this because it, it's a great display of wrestling between these two. And, um, well, the crazy thing is at the end here... Fucking Sonata nails his moonsault. You think this is the end? Aries kicks out. 
Aries nails the brain buster, the fucking brain buster. Sonata kicks out. Well, Sonata's still a little weary down there on the ring mat. Aries climbs the top turnbuckle, 450. New X Division champ, option C is available. Austin Aries, hell yeah, awesome. Best X Division champion ever. And uh, Al, while he's holding the belt, did you guys notice the fucking belts paint on it? It's all scraped up and looks like shit. Bring back the old belt. This new belt's ugly as hell. Just my opinion, guys. Actually, tell me what what belt did you like best? The very, very NWA original, the new redesigned, oh, the perfect X Division belt. My favorite. The last belt. Oh, it was perfect and then this new hunk of shit so you guys tell me below what's your favorite x belt and uh, i just told you mine so then we have bully ray he's really frustrated with this whole rhino gig and uh he calls him out and he like he says he from bam bam bigelow he told him that in the end when you're wrestling career is over basically you can count your friends that still in the that was part of the business or still is you can count them on one hand and uh rhino used to be one of those guys but what the fuck happened ethan carter's music hits him and spud and rhino come out looks like we got a little click here and it, it basically ends up being that uh ethan carter ends up paying rhino the carters and um, Rhino wants him to respect the Carters, and uh, Bully Ray says, you know what, it's, it, it's all up to you, man. You got fired from this company and this company, and really, you're just a bitch. <laughs> and, but Ethan Carter, like he said, he, he's paying him, and then Ethan Carter speaks up. Bully says, I'll just come over there, kick your ass. Rhino gores him. Gores, Bully Ray, and, you know, that's that. And, uh, well, I can't wait to see what happens next after, you know, this whole deal. Tommy Dreamer came out to make the save. Singapore sling fucking nailing people. And uh, I, where's the Rhino Bully deal going? Can't wait to see what happens. What do you guys think? Bully, ver Bully Ray versus Rhino. Where's it going to happen? Is it going to be a Destination X or is it going to be Bound for Glory? Something like that. be pretty cool shit. Then we have the knockouts title on the line with Angelina Love with Velvet Sky Ringside, Madison Rain, Brittany, and Gail Kim. So, like I said, Brittany, she's does not like Madison Rain anymore. Neither does Angelina Love. And they end up teaming up a little bit during this match. And, well, Brittany's a little naive here, and Angelina Love snaps on her and gets the best out of her. Gal Kim capitalizes amongst these little feuds while she's outside of the ring, climbs up, top of the turnbuckle, drop kicks them both, and we get eat the feet, and Gal Kim retains. Very short match for all of this, so uh, I think it could have been a little bit longer, but we'll see what happens with the knockouts title here. You got Taryn Terrell back. And um, will Rebel end up being a, um, a knockout wrestling? So we'll find out. Then we have a, um, a, a video backstage, a great fucking video, boosting up Bobby Lashley because he doesn't talk much. MVP is putting him over big time, and Bobby Lashley working out is putting himself over big time because this guy is a beast. <laughs> Simple as that. Really good fucking video. I liked it. It was awesome. What do you guys think? Bobby Lashley? Uh, would you like to see a Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar? Whoo! <laughs> Two beasts. And then we go on to the 20-man battle royal for the winner to challenge Bobby Lashley in New York City for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. And uh, the big thing here was will it be Willow or Jeff Hardy that comes out in this match and we get the music of one Jeff Hardy so Jeff Hardy comes out after all 19 contestants are out there and uh, well this is good shit right after and uh, Bram like I said he, he he gets eliminated by Hardy he goes fucking nuts 
and Abyss makes a little entrance and comes in and takes care of Bram. So Abyss is still friends and aligned with Willow, Jeff Hardy. And, uh, well, in the end, we end up with Bobby Roode, Eric Young, Kenny King, and Jeff Hardy. And, uh, well, ends up with Jeff Hardy and Eric Young. And they have great sportsmanship, shake of the hand, quick ending. In the end, Jeff Hardy pulls the victory here. Awesome shit. So Hardy's moving on for a title match against Bobby Lashley. And uh, like I said, great sportsmanship between Eric Young and Jeff Hardy. Bobby Lashley's music hits. He comes down, shows his nice shiny TNA World Heavyweight Championship belt to Jeff Hardy. And they have a little stare down and Jeff Hardy's got some words to say. Can't wait for the match, guys. And uh, what do you think? <sighs> the Jeff Hardy era coming back? It would be nice because it was fun. So, um, I really goddamn good show. The last few weeks of TNA has been holy shit on fire. Tell me that you it, it has right? Correct? Yes, it has. Hit the thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter at Rob Kimball Brand, and stay up to date with all my videos and subscribe thumbs ups always and all the haters that are on here looking for the illegal stream of a show such as TNA and WWE stop hitting the thumbs down man it ain't hurting me at all so piss off anyway guys I uh, hope you like the show tell me what you thought about it Hardy in the title picture again Bobby Roode eventually maybe I liked it all it was really good shit it's awesome. So I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.